Dr. Mindy here, and today I want to talk about mercury toxicity. So there's a lot of information out there on the internet. Hopefully you've been um, studying what the, the symptoms are of mercury toxicity. But I want to just start off by explaining to you that mercury is an excitatory metal. So those of you that have depression, those of you, I'm sorry, anxiety, those of you who have restless legs, those of you that can't stop moving, uh, tremors, twitching, um, neuropathy, those trouble focusing, that can be mercury toxicity. It is a stimulant to the nervous system. Insomnia is another one we see a lot. So there are no safe levels of mercury allowed in your body. And yet we are get, seeing mercury be um, in people ingesting mercury really in three different ways. One is through fish. So uh, hopefully you know by now our waters are toxic, fish are toxic. So when you're eating fish, there's a very good chance, especially with fish like tuna, there's a very good chance you're getting mercury. So uh, we, I highly recommend you just minimize your fish intake or um, at least extreme moderation. Second place you're getting mercury from is your mouth. So I'm gonna include a link in here of what happens every time you brush your teeth and you have a mercury filling. It's a, a really good short link that will show you how that vapor will, as you brush your teeth, will come out and can get ingested up into the brain and start to create anxiety and um, insomnia from just brushing your teeth with an amalgam filling. So please, with dental care, I cannot emphasize enough, do not let anybody put silver into your mouth and do not just go and have it taken out. It needs to be taken out properly by a, a, a biological dentist. So I really want to point that out before you all go rush out and take your amalgams out. Um, the third place is vaccines. So flu shots, the vaccines they give our children. Uh, yep, they put mercury in those as well. Um, and so often what we're finding with that mercury is that it's going, the ones that are in um, vaccines and flu shots, they go up into the brain. So a lot of these kids with ADD, ADHD, um, anxiety in teens, that can have a root cause of mercury toxicity. So, um, so know that, that, that they, those are the top three areas that you're getting them from. Now, there's a couple different ways you can test. There's a couple different ways you can go about detoxing mercury. So the, our favorite test is called a provoked heavy metal test. It's where you take a, a, a provoking agent and it starts to pull mercury out of the tissues in your body and it measures it in the urine. That is the only accurate way to know what your mercury load is. Hair analysis will only tell you what's coming out of your body currently. Same thing with blood. It will only tell you what's coming out. So if you think that heavy metal toxicity, specifically mercury, is the source of your health problems, um, I would test it. I can't even tell you how many tests we've run in our office and people will have these aha moments of like, wow, it is my, my mercury, my lead, those are the biggies we see. Um, to be able to see it on a test and know what your load is, is it's actually freeing. People really start to connect the dots and realize that this metal has been a major source of their health problems for a long time. So testing it is great. Um, making sure that you're not getting current sources of mercury, so m minimizing your fish. Um, you can ask your doctor for mercury-free vaccines, mercury-free flu shots. I highly recommend that you look at that. Um, and then really being careful about your dentistry. So those are, those are kind of my first step. Now, when it comes to detoxing metals in general, there is a very specific way you wanna go about it. So please, if you think you want to detox metals, don't just rush out and grab some supplement off the internet. You wanna open up your detox pathways first, then you wanna pull these metals out of your body, and then you wanna pull it out of your brain. And there are on cycles and off cycles, and there's, there's a real art to doing this. And we've been doing it so often in our office, and we're so passionate about making sure you get the proper detox that we are now leading small groups through a 90-day experience of heavy metal detoxing. 
So if you want information on that, just put group detox in the comments and we'll make sure that you get some information. But if I'm, I'm hoping that this video reaches those of you that have tried everything. You're trying to figure out where your anxiety is coming from. You're trying to figure out why you can't lose weight. You're trying to get to these root cause issues. And I really hope this video lands uh, in your lap because we see this so much in our clinic where it's the aha moment. It's the moment where, holy moly, I didn't know heavy metals was my issue. Once we de detox those issues and, and get those metals out, the issues go away. So as always, from the bottom of my heart, I hope that helps. Hey, Dr. Mindy here, and if you enjoyed this video, please share it out to the world. I'm trying to get really cutting edge health information into people's hands. And if you wanna see more videos like this, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get updates as to when I go live and new videos that I put out there. Every Thursday, by the way, I do a live video from here and answer your questions. So if there are questions you want me to answer, join me then and I'll make sure that I address them. Thanks, have an awesome day.